house, which I did again this morning. I'm almost to that point, but I like my house really warm, so Same. still at like 68, 69, 70. And that's the temperature almost it's going to be this weekend. I bet you, I'll bet anything that Eric is more like a 64 degrees in the house kind of guy. <laughs> 66. You don't want to know about my heating situation. Don't tell oh. me it's lower than 64. As a city dweller, I have turned my heat on for four hours this winter. Wow. Four. What? Really? You live in a building, surrounded by other people. Oh. You know, things are kind of working out there, but, you know, it's all give and take. City versus suburban areas or wherever you're living, you might have the heat on tonight because it is definitely chilly out there. And, you know, April snow, it's not something anyone's really wishing for. Maybe there are a few out there who are wishing for some April snowfall, but it's not unusual. Some snowflakes tonight, no real accumulation, but even in Boston at the coast, three out of four Aprils have snow. And if you go to Worcester, there's only 10 in 140 years that haven't had snow. So it is something we typically do see, especially in the first half of the month. And we saw some of those snowflakes tonight. Now we're looking at rain, but also a few pockets of some freezing rain, mainly in the higher elevations. So across Worcester County and into the Monadnock region, we've been talking about for the last couple of days here, temperature is just cold enough to create some of that freezing rain. We're at 30 in Worcester, 31 in Auburn and Sutton, 32 in Boylston, and Lemonster is at 31 degrees. You can see that little spine of temperatures right around freezing. Don't think there'll be an impact on the roads tonight, but around, say, the deck railings and maybe on the trees, a little glaze of ice, and then it will melt late tonight and into early tomorrow morning. So pretty low impact stuff. The last of the rain moving out of Boston around 7 o'clock in the morning, leaving Cape Cod around 9 to 10 o'clock in the morning. And then we are going to jump into the sunshine. And what a weekend we are looking at over the next couple of days. I would say the best weekend of the year so far. And uh, really, last weekend was pretty good until Sunday afternoon. But this one, up to 60 by midday, well into the 60s tomorrow afternoon with sunshine increasing. And Sunday will be another day that's up around 65 uh, to 70 degree range also. A sea breeze potentially on Sunday, but these are days to get outdoors, no question. So tomorrow with a westerly breeze, we should bring that mild air right to the coastline. The cool spots will be across Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket, but still a nice day once the clouds move out. Then as we make our way towards Sunday, We'll see those temperatures jump up well into the 60s. Again, a chance at 70 in a couple of spots. I do think with a generally weak wind on Sunday, we'll see a sea breeze kicking in all along the coastline. Basically, everywhere near the shore, the wind starts to come on shore on Sunday and bring us a cooler afternoon. With everyone probably spending a lot of time outside this weekend, just a friendly reminder, sun angle is the same as Labor Day weekend, where we're usually hanging out at the beach and soaking in the sun, so sunblock would be a way to go. This is that type of weekend where everyone goes to work on Monday and everyone's it's got a little bit of a sunburn, so keep that in mind. Sunrise is at 619 tomorrow morning, sunset at 716. And if you're heading up and doing some spring skiing, you couldn't ask for much of a better weekend for spring skiing conditions. There's a ton of snow in the mountains still. Temperatures will be in the 50s for highs and generally calm winds. I mean, we're talking perfection if you'd like to get in some of those last turns of the season. As we look toward the start of the week, we've got rain on Monday morning up till about the early afternoon. Looks like we'll dry out heading later into the afternoon and toward the evening. Tuesday is probably the trickiest day of the forecast as we're going to have a front nearby and also some rain showers off to our south. So how this all comes together together is still kind of in flux. There's a chance that we would see a very warm afternoon in the 60s to near 70, but then a backdoor front comes in and drops us into the 40s near the coast in the afternoon. So I think this is going to be a very changeable Fenway home opener forecast. It looks mainly dry for right now. We'll keep you updated over the weekend. Fingers crossed we can keep all the rain at bay. There'll be a chance for some passing showers on Wednesday, and it does turn cooler at the middle of next week. And at the end of the week, we'll get our next chance for a storm and uh, some cold temps with that 40s on Friday. David and Lisa, back to you. All right, Eric, thank you.